Ross, congratulations. That smile says it all. That was a, a special performance here at the Winter Garden. Just sum up how you feeling after that. Yeah, I'm buzzing. Obviously, uh, to win my first game at the Winter Gardens, um, I'm really happy, and I'm happy with the performance. I think I, I went missing in a few legs, but again. I think experience in my, in my own head, I've sort of managed the game really well, so I'm really happy with my performance. You touched on obviously winning your first game here. When you haven't got a winning record somewhere and you get Josh Rock first round, do you sit at home thinking, oh, not again, why me? Um, no, not to be honest. Uh, you know, I'm sitting at home and I, I never watch the draws. I can't do it because I'm too tense, whether it's Ali Pally or here or wherever it is, I can't watch a draw. So. Um, when, when it comes through, I'm just like, OK, you know, Josh is an incredible player. He's probably one you want to avoid. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. So, um, you know, Josh is absolutely amazing player. And uh, I had a great, great game with him a couple of, well, about a month ago, something like on the Euro Tour. So I know what Josh can do and everyone else does. So, but to, today I feel like um, I've done a professional performance and I've got through the game. Do you feel your game's in a really good place? Right now, I'm ready to go and win that second major. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't win in a second major. I think it's it's going to be there one day, hopefully. Um, but yeah, whether it's this week or not, I don't know. I, I feel I put the work in. I, I play, you know, I practice hard and uh, away from the board as well. I do other things. So, but. I'm not fearful of anyone at the end of the day. I know that I can beat absolutely anybody in front of me, but I'm, I'm also aware and respectful of the fact that I know that if I'm not on my game, I can get done. So I've got to be on my game full full time. But um, yeah, if I didn't think I could win it, I wouldn't even be here. But I really do. I believe I can be holding that trophy on Sunday. But if I'm not careful, I know I'll, I'll be walking home Tuesday as well. So I've got to be, got to be careful. Thank you very much. Ross, towards the end of that game, a couple of really big finishes, the, the 160 and obviously the, the 120 to win it. It felt like towards the end you were really starting to settle a lot more on the stage. Was, was that the case? Um, yeah, I usually panic a little bit if I take a lead, um, So, which has is, is, is been done on the Euro Tour and that. But no, I, I feel like I've I, I conducted myself well up there. And again, I feel, I feel like I've done a professional job today. Um, you know, I took my time a little bit. And because uh, Josh, he does, he, he runs up and down. He's very quick. That's his game. So, but I know I've got to also play my game, which is just you know, you know, we're all different at the end of the day. So, how difficult is it to, to keep that rhythm when you're up against someone who yeah, you know, pretty much runs backwards and forwards from the board? Doesn't yeah, it? it's difficult. It really is. You know, you know, you got to sort of, in a weird way, I suppose. There's a few players that you don't really think about it. You just get on with it. But I know Josh from experience. He's very quick, you know, and that's his game. Um, so for me, it's not about slowing him down or anything like that. It's about, for me, it's about taking my, right, take a step back because otherwise I'm going around in a whirlwind, you know, I feel like I'm in a twister or something like that. So, but yeah, it is difficult at times, but, you know, that's what a professional sport's about, isn't it? You, you've got to manage your game right. When you're coming into a big tournament like this at the World Match Play, how much does the form and the way you've been playing dictate how, how you come into this tournament? It can play a part, but it's not a big thing. Um, I've learnt that. Again, everything's learning for me. Um, prime example, last year I won a Players' Champs and then went into the Euros defending it, lost first round. So, you know, um, I've won a title coming into this. And I've had a consistent year, which I'm really happy with, but again, that's done. It's been and done. It's all about today and the next day and the next day. I think you, if you watch footballers' interviews and stuff like that, people who win stuff, they all say the same thing. It's about going on to the next one and the next one, and, and that's what I'm trying to do. Ross, you mentioned it there. It has been a consistent year for you. Two Euro Tour finals and a Players' Championship. Even though you have won a major, is this probably the most consistent you've played in your career, at least up to date? Yeah, weirdly, um, this is without a doubt, it's the first six months I've, I've definitely played the most consistent. Um, but... I probably haven't been playing the best. It's it's a strange one. So at the same time, I sort of pat myself on the back, maybe I don't know, um, and take some positives. But I also know that you know it could be quite different. I feel like I played better last year. So, but again, you know, it's about winning in ugly situations and digging deep. That's what the game's about, you know. And I'm just trying my best, and yeah, on to the next one. 
lot of fans and players talk about the World Match Play being their favourite tournament. So does this almost feel like a landmark victory, just getting that first win on arguably the most iconic venue in darts? Yeah, you know, just again, I want to be here on Sunday. I want to be holding the trophy up. I'm not worried about the win in the first round. Obviously, I'm really happy, but I, I want to keep going. I want to win the next one. I want to beat Gezi and so on and so on. It's as simple as that. You know, otherwise I wouldn't be here. But this is an iconic venue, and it's something that it means a lot to me um, because of I can sit in now and tell you the my house where I grew up and stuff like that, and I remember playing on practicing on a dartboard, watching the TV and playing like the opponent who's playing on the TV back then, like Jamie Harvey and Peter Everson, them sort of players, you know. So for me, there's a lot of history about this, and as a kid weirdly you know this was where I wanted to be and to be here now is yeah it's it's amazing it's really I really have to pinch myself at times and you said that you've not played your best stuff yet this year so what can you do now to kick on this week and for the rest of the year to, to bring that best roster out just keep going there's no there's no secret or anything like that um I prepare myself the best I can and I go into every tournament and I just think to myself if I can give myself the best opportunity then what will be will be you know that that's all it's about is pr preparation for me practice hard uh, on and off the board and I'm coming into these tournaments now but I feel like it's sort of paying off now it's paying off and I'm winning ugly as well which I think you need to do you need to learn to win in certain situations and I feel like I'm, I'm sort of doing that now and managing the games Cheers Ross thank you Ross many congratulations on the win obviously people watching you will know all about your fantastic scoring ability but today it was the doubles that did the talking what did you make of your performance on the outer break? Yeah, I've been working really hard. Well, I say working really hard, but I knew um, my finishing hasn't been the greatest, I suppose, this year. Um, I've had a bit of luck here and there, winning games and stuff, but like I, I've turned up yesterday and I've got in here yesterday afternoon and that's all I've virtually practiced was doubles, you know, finishing, doubles, doubles, especially the doubles that I, I'm not keen on, the ones that I've been struggling on that I've noticed. So I've worked really hard on them. You know, I'm spending like half hour, an hour on one double, just trying to build my confidence. And tonight, do you know what? It worked. Well, this afternoon, it worked. Thanks. Just a quick one, Ross. You said the stuff you're doing away from the ball. We know that obviously you've got into the nutrition side of it, the exercise, making sure that you're healthy. How important is that in the modern game as a, as a player that you are right in that sense? Yeah, I think it's massive. I think it's massive for anyone in general. You know, whether you're a dark player or you're in an office or whatever you're doing I just think some sort of exercise and eating healthy is, is great for your mentality um, and I think in this game you know I don't want to be sitting here in five years time and then going I'm dwindling out you know I want to I'm 35 I've been around weirdly weirdly I've been around quite a long time I should I've, again I'm a slow burner <laughs> I wish I wasn't but I want to be playing this game for another 20 years. You know, I love the game and you won't see me quitting or anything like that. But I think longevity, I've spoke to Steve Beaton and he's adamant, like going to the gym every day and stuff like keeping active and healthy. He says if he, if he doesn't do that, he wouldn't be playing where he is like now. And I'm, I'm a big believer in that. And I want to be playing till at least I'm 50. So I'd be, it'd be a privilege. I'd, I love the game and I hope I'm around in that time, so I've got to work hard at it.